Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me and I'm also going to be doing a Q&A in this video. So I asked you guys on Twitter to ask me some questions that I can answer on camera. So that's what I'm going to be doing. All the products I'm wearing on my face are going to be listed down below in the description box because I did kind of forget to say what I was doing because I was busy talking a lot. So yeah, if you guys want to get ready with me and listen to me answer some questions, then just keep on watching. So I have a ton of questions to answer from my Twitter. So somewhat bad Asian asked, do you prefer pink or purple. I prefer purple all the way. And then she also asked when did I first get inked and what is my first tattoo. So my first tattoo I got when I was 16. Got a dream catcher on my ankle. It's not a very good tattoo. I was 16. I got it on somebody's couch, which I definitely do not recommend doing. I just obviously was underage, so I couldn't go to a shop and I didn't want my parents to know. So yeah, not the smartest idea. <laughs> and then Celine, I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. She asked, what is your favorite video you've made? Not my favorite, but the video that I'm most proud of is probably my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette tutorial. I feel like I just spent a lot of time creating that look and I love how it turned out. I really hope that one day Jaclyn Hill and Morphe can see that video or even the pictures that I posted of that makeup because I just, I love how it turned out. Then Adrienne P asked, what does your boyfriend do? How did you get into makeup? Were you a girly or a tomboy? There's a lot of questions, so I'm going to answer all of them. So the first one, what does your boyfriend do? My boyfriend is a jeweler. He owns his own business. And then she said, how did you get into makeup? And honestly, I've just been into makeup since I was a kid. I remember just sitting in my bedroom and... I would literally just do my makeup, wipe it off, and then do it again. I would just do it over and over and over again anytime that I was bored. I don't know what made me get into it. I was just so intrigued by it at such a young age, and my whole family knew it. My whole family always told me that they knew that I was going to be a makeup artist or a hairstylist. And I just think it's so funny now because before I was like, no, I'm going to go to college. I'm going to be an accountant. And I just had so many different dreams. And it's just crazy how much things have changed since then. And she said, were you a girly girl or a tomboy? And I was always girly, but I always hated like anything that was pink. I always loved blue, green, purples, like, colors like that. So that's the only thing that like wasn't very girly about me, but everything else. Loved the makeup, loved the hair. And then she said, are you? in college or if you went what did you study um so I was in college I went for three semesters I went to Normandale Community College I didn't know what I wanted to do at that time so I was just getting my generals this was right after I got out of high school so this was in 2013 honestly yeah I just stopped going because I didn't know what I wanted to do I kept changing my mind and I didn't want to be wasting money on something that I had no idea if I was sure about so okay and then the last question she asked was fave tv shows and favorite movie my favorite tv shows are The Office Friends. Um, I love The Challenge. I love Forensic Files. I watch that all the time. CSI. Basically, oh my god, and Modern Family. I'm obsessed with Modern Family. And my favorite movie? Honestly, I don't know. I watch a lot of movies that I like. And by the way, I know I'm not really talking about the makeup that I'm doing right now. So everything that I'm using is going to be listed down below in the description box. Right now, I'm using Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. I prime my eyes with Max Soft Ogre Paint Pot and I set that with Bone by Anastasia. Anyways, back to the questions. What's your favorite season of the year? I love fall and I love spring because springtime is my birthday. And she also asked, will you ever bring out your own makeup line or merch? I really want to come out with my own makeup line. That's always been my dream so I really hope that someday I can do that. Janate Taki? I'm so bad at pronouncing names I'm so sorry guys but she asked Kylie Cosmetics or Huda Beauty which one do you prefer? Probably honestly Kylie only because I use more products by her. I love Kylie's velvet lipsticks and her lip glosses. Huda Beauty I love the rose gold palette but that's about the only thing that I really use from her. Isabel Christine asked do you plan on having kids if so how many? Yes, I plan on having kids. I want to have three to four, four at the most. I've always wanted like two boys and one girl or three boys and one girl. I'm going to do some winged eyeliner. I'm using my Inglot gel eyeliner in the shade black. Sorry, I couldn't talk while I do eyeliner because I literally don't breathe when I do my eyeliner. So that would be really hard. Chrissy Lee asked, what is your favorite makeup product? And honestly, that is so hard to choose, but I honestly have been loving this highlighter so much. This is the Jouer highlighter in the shade Citrine. I switch up my favorite highlighters all the time just because I feel like there's always new highlighters coming out. I'm going to be mixing these two shades of my Smashbox foundation together. This is 3.0 and 1.15. This one is just a little bit too light for me and then the other one is just a little bit too dark. 
And then I'm blending that out with a Morphe M439 brush. Do you ever plan on getting married? And yes, we do plan on getting married. We actually talk about it all the time. I feel like it'll be pretty soon because we have been talking about it for a couple of years now. I know we're young. I'm 22 and he's 21, but we have also been together for five years and we're just ready. I mean, there's nothing holding us back. And I feel like when you know, you just know. Even though I know that still could be like, a year from now. I still am so excited. I think about it every single day. Okay, then Bella Mertz asked, when did you start a YouTube career? I started it January 23rd. It was my first video that I ever posted. I think it was just like a makeup tutorial and I used the Kat Von D shade and light eyeshadow palette and it's terrible. So I put it on private on my channel. I think I'll take it off private one day. I just like was embarrassed about it when I look back on it. But um, I think one day I will put it on public just so people can see like where I came from. It's only been a year and what month is it? August already? Oh my gosh. So it's only been a year and eight months. But just like looking back on that and seeing how much I have grown already. Every once in a while I do go back and I look at my old videos. Like some videos that I just have put on public. I've probably put like 10 I mean, I'm private. It's kind of like motivation for me to keep going because I have wanted to quit YouTube multiple times. There's just been like a lot of bumps in the road. Sometimes you get in these moods where it's like, what am I doing with my life? Like, why am I doing YouTube? Am I even growing? Especially when you compare your channel to other people's, like your peers. It just seems like everybody else is growing so much faster than you and you put out great content all the time, but it's just like nothing is ever getting noticed. And I was feeling that for a long time. I still feel like that a lot, actually. I spend so much time editing my videos, filming my videos, and everything like that. And I just feel like sometimes I feel like it's not even worth it because it's just not like getting recognition, I guess. Another thing, too, is that I'm really, really hard on myself. I typically film... I want to say like three to four videos a week and I only usually upload like one or maybe two of those videos. I'm just way too hard on myself and if I film something and I start editing it and there's something that I don't like about it, I will not post it. But you guys helped so much with that. Like you guys literally pushed me so much to keep going. You guys motivate me so much. So I could not be... Woo! more thankful for you guys. I thank you guys all the time, so it probably gets annoying, but I'm never gonna stop, so get used to it. <laughs> this is the Marc Jacobs Glow Stick and Spotlight. So pretty, are you kidding me? This is the first time I've ever used it, and it's stunning. And I'm setting that with my favorite highlighter. Riley McKellen asked, where do you see yourself in five years? By the way, I love you, I love you too. Five years from now, Let's see, I'm 22, so I'd be 27. I guess, honestly, in five years from now, I would like to at least have two kids by then. I also would like to see myself starting my own makeup line, hopefully in the next, like, three years. Cora asked, what made you set up your YouTube channel? So basically what made me first start originally was just my love for makeup and everybody would always ask me what makeup I'm using, how do you do this, what foundation do you use? Like I would just get so many questions all the time and so many people were always like, start a YouTube channel, do videos. And I was like, for what? Like why would anybody want to see me doing makeup? When more and more people started asking me that, that's when I was kind of like, okay, maybe I should think about it. But I never thought about YouTube. I thought more of like just starting to work at Mac and helping people that way. I never was thinking about YouTube just because it was so foreign to me. Like it was was just very I'm a very very shy person and to put myself out on the internet like that for all of the cruel people that are on the internet and just on YouTube especially I just didn't think I wanted to be involved with that I guess or like put myself in that position to be hurt every time I would watch a video I would think like okay I can do this this seems like it can be something that's like easy um no not at all first of all it's not easy I'm honestly surprised that I'm still doing it just because of how hard it actually is I've gotten like a few really mean comments here and there but it's never been I don't know I've never really taken them to heart like I just kind of read them and I'm like Pfft. Okay. So I don't know. I just think it's kind of like laughable. Safana asked, how many kids do you want and what would you name them? Four kids at the most and three kids at the least. I don't know what I would name the boys, but I've always wanted to name my girl Jade. But yeah, I have no idea what I would name my boys. I've never even thought about that actually, but I think about 
naming my girl Jade all the time. Kaylee asked, how long have you and your boyfriend been together? We've been together five years on August 20th. So like 15 days from now, that'll be our five year anniversary. We were actually like together for a long time before we made that, we made that official. And I also met him when I was in elementary school. We've known each other since like third grade and we were always best friends. It was always like my friends were always best friends with his friends and so we were always together. Um, we were very close before we started dating. We kind of split apart when I had my, my ex-boyfriend but he was also friends with him too. Um, so we kind of were close but it was never like that. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Super funny because I always remembered that my ex-boyfriend and this was back in like ninth grade this was a long long time ago my ex-boyfriend he was very mean to me like very very mean to me and kyle was always kyle's my boyfriend kyle was always there for me like he was always the one person that was always like kind of like helping me through it and just like telling me that it's not always gonna be this hard and just like being a very good friend to me and then what do you know four years later me and him were together <laughs> yeah i don't know i just think it's super funny how things work Another thing that's super funny about my boyfriend is when I was in, I, I think it was in 8th or ninth grade and um, I was hanging out with Kyle and I wasn't supposed to hang out with boys at this time and so we were like at this park together and I had to go home and mom was calling me and so I had her and my stepdad pick me up at the park and I asked them if um, Kyle could come to my house for like 5 minutes, literally not even 5 minutes just while I like grabbed some things and went to my other friend's house. And my stepdad was so mean to him. He was like, no, he's not coming to our house. Boys aren't allowed in our house. Like so mean and it was so embarrassing. It was super awkward. And then when I brought him over when we started dating, my stepdad recognized him and remembered how like mean he was to him, which is understandable. I mean, like that was my rule. Like I wasn't allowed to have boys over. So it's not like he was like, being mean for no reason but um i just think it's so funny because when i finally brought him home like when we actually started dating the look on his face was just priceless okay um annie martin asked what would be your biggest goal career wise so ultimately i do want to have my own makeup line i said that earlier but that is the main thing that i'm like striving for I would love to start out with lipsticks and then move to eyeshadow palettes. I would love to make highlighters and just so many things that I want to make. I cannot wait and I really, really hope that this dream of mine comes true. What's your favorite fall thing to do and your favorite movie to watch? So my favorite fall thing to do, um, I love fall. Fall in Minnesota is beautiful. Our trees are just like jaw dropping so gorgeous i love fall here my favorite thing to do in the fall i love carving pumpkins i love halloween going to the apple orchard i also love decorating my house in the fall too i feel like fall decorations are so cute i love having bonfires too and favorite movie to watch honestly i don't know like there's so many movies me and my boyfriend are obsessed with movies we literally go to the movie theater four to five days a week we always are watching movies. If I think of my favorite one, I'll leave it down below in the comments. <laughs> these eyelashes are the Tarte Girl Boss eyelashes. I mentioned these in my favorites video yesterday. I love them so much. Okay, then the last question that I'm going to answer is from Ellie M's and she said, what were your doubts when starting YouTube and how did you conquer them? So I kind of already answered this earlier. My doubts were just that people were going to be really mean to me and I wouldn't be able to handle it. Um, and then my other doubts were that I wouldn't be able to keep up with it or that I just wouldn't be good at it. And um, I feel like I still haven't conquered those doubts yet. I'm still working on it every day. It was a very difficult thing for me to put myself in the spotlight and I actually like hid from everybody that I even made a YouTube channel. Like I didn't tell any of my friends. People that knew were my boyfriend and my parents and I think after like the fourth or fifth video I posted is when I finally started telling people and like I made like a totally separate Instagram that I didn't follow any of my friends on or anything because <laughs> I didn't want anybody to know about it and I would like post and I would post videos on there and I was just very like subconscious about it and it didn't become until like at least after like I think it was 10 months is when I finally posted my first picture on like my actual Instagram of like a video that I had posted and that was like the first time that I kind of like let everybody know like my friends and stuff that I was doing it not like my close friends because they obviously knew about it but like everybody else yeah I was just very like self-conscious about that so I overcame that and how I overcame that was honestly I just started thinking about it and my boyfriend kind of helped too and I was just like you know what who cares like I'm doing this for me I'm doing this it's fun I'm having a blast 
and I'm happy doing this. And if somebody that I'm friends with or somebody that I even know is gonna like talk shit about that or just be really mean about that and try and like throw that in my face, bye, like you don't matter to me anymore, you know? That's kind of like what happened um, when I kind of finally like, got over that. Totally forgot to bring a lipstick up here, so I'm just gonna use a lip liner. This is BFF2 by ColourPop. All right guys, so that's it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it, and if you want me to keep doing it, videos like this, like get ready with me's or Q and A's, let me know. I can do like Snapchat Q and A's or like just Twitter or Instagram and then do another get ready with me video. I love these kinds of videos, so I hope you guys do too. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you aren't already, then please subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.